If steps have any chance of successfully reuniting, there's some serious questions that need answering. I think, for me personally, guys, when, when the split happened, I think that the main reason behind it all is things weren't discussed. If you look back at probably the issues that we had ten years ago and you think about them now, <coughs> they are actually really silly. What were the issues? It felt that there, were, there was favouritism at times, definitely. I can see why you thought that. Mm. Everything for me was about singing. Mm. That's what I wanted to be, always. Oh. All right. God damn it. God's breathe. sake. And breathe. And breathe. <sighs> and breathe. I remember when you came to me, you said to me that you'd been asked to sing the whole of One for Sorrow. And I can remember feeling this massive sinking feeling at my stomach going, right, that means the rest of us are backing singers. Everybody's reaction made me feel like absolute shit. Yeah. And it built up and built up and built, everything built up, and the only way that I could deal with it is to go, that's it. And towards the end, I felt my only ally was H. Why couldn't you come to discuss it? Because we didn't talk to each other towards the end. We were barely having conversations. H and I travelled separately half the time. Back then, everything was magnified. And for me, I was so unhappy because I was tired and knackered and didn't want to see anybody. Yeah, but you said you needed a break and you were tired, but yet you were ready to go on with Claire. To me, it felt like I couldn't do it anymore. I had to go. That was it. I could not. So you carried on with H. Because you guys came out so soon afterwards, mm. it felt it was apparent that this actually had been planned, you know, a lot longer than two weeks before. Because there you were with a new single, new do video, you remember new album. It's all a bit of a blur. I went afterwards to um, places to write and record for, you know, potential new stuff. And they said, oh, we've been, we've wrote with H and Claire before. Or they've been, or they've been in a recording. Before. And I was I just like, yeah, that hell no. What? What? Before we split? That's yeah. not true. Not recording, but songs were being written for you. They hit on a few nerves, and I, th I thought she did really well saying that, because I know it's difficult. Because you don't really want to upset anyone, you don't want to offend anyone, but you do want to get the truth. I think it's tough to be in a band and then turn around and look on SMTV or something and yeah. you guys are out there with an album coming out. <clears throat> I've got a question. Why did you resign an hour or two before the show? That was shit, wasn't it? It was shit. <laughs> it was, darling. Do you know it what? was really forgot. shit. I regret the way that, that it ended. I'm really glad you said that. No, I, I honestly, and I, I take my hat off and I say that I wish we'd sat down and talked yeah, about it so and we. communicated and but it was a, taken a year out. It was an ongoing yeah. thing though. We had it before a show. I, I know, just, like, oh. and looking back on it, it was shit. I would you know never what? have done that I to know, any of you. I, I, I still can't get my head around. From what I remember, that was our the show. We were basically told that we had to tell you before... Before... Before, I don't know what, before the end of the tour, and that was the opportunity to do it because we would have done the show on the last night and or would have all gone our separate ways. What happened to the um, give everybody three months warning that was in our group oh, agreement? Yeah, but that's different, isn't it? You can't. I don't remember that. Well, it is to you because you managed to be able to do it. You know, it was one decision that changed the course of five people's destiny. And it's just, I, I've just so, I'm still angry that nobody thought about the rest of the three of us. You know, we just were it's shoved to the point, side. Though. I don't feel very happy about the whole thing. It's made me think that there's a bit more anger there than I expected still. It should have been a band decision when Steps ended because Steps was the five of us, and that's what I found hard that that was taken away from us. And also, and if it was never going to be that because we weren't close no, enough but, but for the, it to be that. And that was really shit. There was shit timing for the fans. I agree as well. with you.
Absolutely. It's kind of directed to Claire, but you, you seem a lot more confident about the whole thing and you seem a lot more settled with yourself. And yeah. you feel like, it feels like that you, you've kind of... Well, I just feel like... I mean, Claire, you, you do bury your head in the sand, where I feel like I... I'm not saying you've not grown up, but I feel like I've matured. We can't change it, none of us can, but I do think it's important to be honest. And I'm not having a go at either of you. Not at all. But I'm just telling you how how it felt for us and you know that, that the next day when it was all over waking up actually realizing steps was over and we had no manager you know no record company and it was all gone so did you really hate us <laughs> <laughs> did you really hate us was, was i really horrible to you it's like being broken hearted, you know, do you ever get over that? I don't know. For me, it felt really hideous. It's not like I want them to beg on their knees or anything, but just to say sorry, guys, would be nice. We were just left to fend for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. 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 I kind of feel like I wish I had not taken part in this.